Welcome to Fuzzy Dragons, and today I'm working on a hyena or uh, hyena art piece of art. It's just a, I just saw the photo, and I decided I really wanted to do it. There's not enough hyena art out there. There really isn't. They're cool creatures. They really are. I know they're not for everybody. Some people think they're like you know just killers and eating things, but they serve a purpose. They have a lot of do a lot of things, and you know the pups are very cute. They're you know it's a very interesting hyenas. We're not going on about hyenas though. I am going to talk about tutorials. Creating tutorials. No, I don't do it personally. Well, I do it in like person, like real life. And I'm, excuse me, caffeine, <laughs> energy drink. But I don't do digital tutorials mostly because, well, I know what I'm doing. So, like with Painter or Clip Studio or um, just basic programs. I just maybe don't go about it the right way, so I'm not one you should be listening to about how to do something digitally at least. So, while I draw a lot more digitally now, I wouldn't be coming to me for how to do things the proper way. I know how to do things, I make them work for me, it's just maybe not the way you should be doing them. But, same thing with ZBrush and uh, Mudbox and all the other 3D programs. I can get them to work, I know how to use it, it's just maybe not the right way to do it. But when traditionally, say like colored pencils, I could show somebody how to do something with colored pencils. So that's my plan. I'm going to do a few colored pencil tutorials. I'll start with the basics, maybe just like coloring shaded shapes, blending basic things, basic th things you might need, um, things you might want. You don't necessarily need them, but you might want to make things using colored pencils a little easier. Another thing I don't have, I don't have any like, well I do have solvent, but not like zested solvent because I don't have it, pretty much, because I just use like fake terps, really, <laughs> if I want to use it, because it works just as well, and you get like the fake white spirits, you know, it's not actual turpentine, it kind of stinks still, but it's not quite as strong, but yeah, that's the plan. I don't know if I mentioned this last video, I very well could have, I'm not really sure, this is the problem with not making a script, I don't know 100% what I've talked about, but, you know, I'm mentioning it again. I'll put it, you know, I'll mention it in the community tab too about if anybody wants, what you want to learn, what you would like me to show you with colored pencils. Is it shading type of pencils? I have all kinds of different types of pencils. I don't have every type of pencil, but I have all kinds of type of pencils. And, you know, if it's oil, wax, uh, how to blend, different types of, um, you, can even get, you can even get like graphite, colored graphite, which is kind of, you know, it's pencils, but, you know, it's not. I've got watercolor pencils if you want me to show you how to use them. Yeah, I've got... Uh, like, like solid colors, like sticks, colors of things. I've got all kinds of things. I've got different types of paper. I've got metientes. I think that's how you say that. Metientes. I think. Not 100% sure. I have like watercolor paper, like Fabriano watercolor paper, which you can use for colored pencils. I've got uh, pastel, like a. Uh, is it Claire, Claire Fontaine uh, pastel paper? I've got some other sanded paper, which is really nice. I have, I've got all kinds of stuff. So, that's my question. I'll repeat it now, I'll say it now, and I'll repeat it at the end. If you have any questions about what colored pencils, or pencil crayons, as I sometimes call them, <laughs> just kind of like, you know, because they say pencil crayons in Canada too, rather than like, either way, it doesn't really matter what way you say it, colored pencils or pencil crayons. It doesn't matter. They're both right. It doesn't really matter. So, any questions? let me know and I will try to answer them either in a video like I'll show you how to do it or in I'll answer your question here in the comments but if I can make show you show you how to do something even better and I've, like I said if I can't do it if I don't have what to do it I can't do it but I pretty much have anything and everything you'd want to do with colored pencils I really do the thing I don't have is colored like the ground stuff you'd put on like canvas and stuff like that I don't have any of that but I'm sure I can find get some or whatever in the future. I'm not really sure. I don't I don't use it. That's why I don't have it. But I uh, I should probably be talking about my hyena. But I'm not. I'm talking about colored pencils, <laughs> not my hyena, which is done in Painter Painter 2022. Because well, I could update it. I don't have an extra hundred quid. I could spend on something else, you know. But I don't. And like when it, when it comes on, like if it, if it comes on the humble bundle, then I just pay that. It's like at 25 pounds or something usually. Um, something like that. Sometimes it's a little less. But I'm just looking to put my, my uh, um, towers of supplies here. I mean, I've got ink tense pencils. Technically, those are pencil, colored pencils. You know, I could use them too. Uh, watercolor ink tense. I've got, uh, like I said, graphite 
like colored graphite kind of pencils. I've got all kinds of stuff. I'm just trying to think of what I've got. Uh, but yeah, and I can I can try anything. It doesn't have to be like you know, it's just somebody hit like I said little circles. We'll start with like circles, squares, one or the other, because you know to show how to shade things be easier for that with different types of pencils, like soft hard pencils, stuff like that. Um, but I say I'm a lot. I'm really trying not to. I'm trying to slow down with my talking. I'm probably not very successful because it's very hard to have 42 years of talking really fast to slow it down a little bit. The, the ADHD meds do help, but not 100%. <laughs> so that maybe it might change that. Might, it's not sure if I mentioned that either. But, um, and like I said, Coral Painter, which I like, and. It's a, what am I using now, an oily triangle pastel thing, which I'm glad because I had to reinstall the painter, so I've got to update, like, the pe the pencils, or pencil the, the brushes in the, the, oh, god, I can't remember what it's called, the, uh, brush, uh, oh, geez, mystical faster, <laughs> there's, that's, that's a great language there, accelerator, that's it, <laughs> that's what I need to run on here, I'll do that when I'm done doing this, and, uh, like I said, I work digitally a lot now because it's just easier, but I have a lot of, most of the supplies to work traditionally. I've got canvases and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't have the pencil ground, which is not that expensive if I wanted to give it a try. I haven't used it for years, but that is the plan on tutorials. I don't do them digitally because I just wing it, pretty much. But when it comes to, like, painting, colored pencils, ink, um, markers, whatever else, like charcoal, Conte. I'm going through a list of all oh, my drawers. What else I got on here? Uh, ink, printing. Oh, I'm gonna do some printing, like three, like lino printing. And I wish I could find a way to show you how it etched, but I can't because it, it reflects on the plexiglass and it just doesn't look right, right? But lino cutting, I can show you, and mono printing, I can do too. I've got. Oh, Jesus Christ! He scared it's John. Oh, some, yeah, I was asking about to say something before you had a half that there, but. Just in case it rings the guy from okay. the, uh, because we're call from the car dealership. Oh, right, that's because first we got to win our car, new, the new car, new car is coming. It's on disability for, you know, so it's the Ford Focus. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But whenever that shows up, she scared the hell out of me. It's a good thing I don't have a heart problem, I'd be oh, dead. Recording. No, it's fine, it's, it's all right. You know, tap on your shoulder, Billy. That would, I still would have probably jumped, it's right. At least I don't have a heart condition. <laughs> You're jumpy. I'm very jumpy. Why is that from jumpy? Um, <laughs> gotta stop saying um so much. Yeah, we should use a short collar. Yeah, I'm not putting a short collar on. But yeah, so I'm working on the... the eye, so every time you say um, it gives you a joke. Yeah, that's true. I should, yeah. You and then I would stop saying um so much. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, like I was saying, I was talking about tutorials, yeah. So... <laughs> Like I said, any questions about colored pencils, I'll put my put it here, also in my community tab, and I'll ask on Twitter and Discord, other things like that. Do people want to know about colored pencils? And I'll make like a Q and A kind of thing. That's just breaking them up, obviously. Like say people like somebody's got a question about blending. Well, I'll put that in one video. Um, pencils themselves are in solvents in surfaces, and so I'll break them down so it's easier to follow. Because like I said, colored pencils. I've been using them since I was 13, so I know my shit when it comes to colored pencils. Digital, wing it, yeah, it works for me. Doesn't work for other, it wouldn't work for other people. I could probably show somebody how to do the basics, but I figured out how to work works for me, and yeah. Traditional, I don't really do it the traditional way, but I can if I really feel like it, but I don't have the time. But with colored pencils, there's only really a couple ways you can use them properly. I mean, it's all about layers and colored pencils, you know? Maybe not as light as a pressure as I have, but light pressure, layers, build up your color, and that's pretty much how it is. Well, it's not as quite as simple as that, but it just, it's the basics right there, you know. There's a bit more to it, but basically, layers, lots of layers. When you think you don't have enough layers, when you think you have enough layers, I should say, add more layers. <laughs> the more layers, the better, you know, colored pencils. Then it's easy, you can just, like, there, it's done, you know. One layer, there you go. You can just pick the color, and it's almost the exact color you want. Unless, depending on what color scheme you're using, RGB, CMYK, all the other bloody other stuff you've got. Um, also depends on the monitor, really, I guess, because my tablet and my screen, the two different colors. I mean, I could cal collaborate, cl ugh, sync them up together, but once again, can't be bothered. <laughs> Because usually I use the color correction on the tablet is correct. I know that. So if I use, as long as I check the stuff on the tablet, it's good. But so yeah, I um, this is a video showing my working on the fuzzy ears of the hyena. I'm gonna try to finish this for next week. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be finished, but I'm gonna try. And then this Sunday will be working on the coloring book page, 
And then, like I said, I'm, I, I was going to do the coloring books during the week, but I thought, no, we'll put them on Sunday and do the digital stuff during the week, like Wednesdays or Thursdays. So this should be up on Wednesday. Wait, what's today? Today is Wednesday. This should be up later today. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm confused. I've been it's a really busy week. You know, it's like every day we've got an appointment for something. And like I today, I went to the, the fracture clinic about my ankle, and it's not broken, but I'm wearing this big boot on my foot to try to help it heal the ligaments and tendons and stuff that I pulled and stuff. It's very awkward to walk in, but I feel like I've got like a peg leg, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, so. Quick, quick wrap up. I'm working on Hyena, working on the coloring book, gonna be working on colored pencil tutorials, so q and if you got any questions. Once again, I know I've said that before, but you can never have, never be reminded too much about that. I like the way this is looking with the ears. It's very fuzzy looking, even though I do have fur brushes for this, but for some reason I decided to do it like this. I don't really not know why I did individual. I think it's the work looks a little bit better with this, but and, uh, what else am I gonna say? Uh, my, my, my ankle's not broken. Yay. <laughs> and, um, uh, what else? Uh, oh, I'm gonna get, oh, he's gonna ultrasound it to make sure I haven't torn my Achilles tendon, so, doesn't think I have, but he's like, just better be sure. And, so, uh, thanks for listening to me ramble. Once again, any questions, put them down below in the community tab, whatever, or Discord, or Twitter, wherever you can find me. Uh, or, you know, I'm not hard to find online. And, um,. So, like, share, subscribe, ring the little notification bell, and leave a comment if you want. Like I said, it's really nice when people do. You don't have to, but it's always nice. And I'll be back on Sunday with the coloring book page, which I will have finished with the markers, and we'll start coloring it with colored pencils. Okay, so I'll be back then. Okay, I guess I think of a different way to say bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>